hi <laughs> hi everyone this is my um my first time going live so on tiktok excuse me um but i'm gonna fix my hair tonight i slept with my hair up um as i do usually when i put my hair up it takes me about two hours to do it fresh so i'll usually leave it up uh for several days um when i do hi hi Samara, hello. Thank you for being here on my very first TikTok Live. Um, I'm gonna fix my hair tonight to shoot some new content. Um, I put my hair up last night for the Pancakes and Booze art show. Um, and so this is, this is what my hair looks like when I wake up on it. <laughs> it's evening, so it's been up all day. Um, and yeah, hello everyone. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Got my blow dryer. And so I have mirrors back here and that's also what helps me do my hair. I've been doing my hair like this for 10 years. So I'm kind of a pro. Does it hurt to sleep with it? Um, it's not comfortable. So what I normally do, um, if you if you look on my page, I have a pinned video of, of how I sleep with my hair. Um, it's one of my most viewed videos. It's at like 5.5 million views. And um, I, I basically just kind of wrinkle the front ones. As you can see, they're, they're kind of wrinkled. So I, I kind of just sleep on my pillow like that. And then when my ear falls asleep, I'll switch to the other side. But normally this is the, the side that I sleep the most on that's most comfortable for me. Um, I don't like lay back on it because obviously like the point of sleeping with my hair up and, you know, not doing it fresh um, is to like have that less time to fix it because it takes a lot less time to fix it than to do it fresh. Fresh takes like two hours. So and here's kind of what the back looks like. These ones get all wrinkled too because, you know, obviously like my neck is, is bent. Um... So yeah, it's usually those, but like obviously, as you can tell, this host is inviting me to go live together. Sure, let's try it out. <laughs> I hope we're not gonna... Hello? Hi. Hi. How are you? I love your hair. Good, how are you? Yeah, good. This is my first time ever going live on TikTok, so excuse me, I'm a bit novice. <laughs> oh, he's okay. yeah, we're, st we're still learning too. Yes. Okay. So wait, where did you guys come from? Like, how did you, I, all of a sudden there was just a thing on my screen that was like, do you want to go live with this person? And I was just like, uh, we, we invited you to the live. Yeah. So when you clicked up accept, then now it puts you on our screen. No, I, I get that. I get that. But I'm like, were you watching my live? Like, or like. Uh, was... wait, we just, we just invite random people. Okay, <laughs> yeah. That's so weird. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye. That was odd. Okay. Wow. Okay. Doesn't your hair get annoying? Yeah, sometimes it does. Yeah. Oh my God. It's the hair spiky girl. Hi. Yes, it's me. Emil, Emil, Emil Tonin. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to say your username. Yes, I am the spiky girl. Yeah, that was weird. That, I, I don't, you know, maybe I should be more cautious. I didn't know like random people on TikTok could just invite you like I thought maybe it was one of you guys that was watching and you wanted to join like how Instagram lives do that um I didn't know like just random people in the TikTok universe that are live at the same time <laughs> it was really strange <laughs> I think they were from Australia wow <laughs> Um, okay, so normally, as you guys have seen, may or may not have seen in my videos of how I do my hair, I start with the middle, and um, this was not in a satanic intentional at all, but there's six spikes in the middle and six on either side, so it's six, 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 <laughs> and um, normally you like want the front one. A lot of people that do Liberty Spikes, they make a mistake because they'll make it go straight up, and that's where it looks weird. If you see with mine, it's kind of angled a little bit and it leaves space for the spikes. So, and then the back one, the middle, it's like 
a line. Like you want it to be like a straight line. Cause a lot of people will do that too with the back one. They'll just make it go straight out. And really like, you know, the spacing with Liberty spikes is, you know, the, the, the hardest part. And I always get complimented on mine that it's like an art piece on my head because they're so symmetrical and it is very intentional. Like my process, I've been spiking my hair for 10 years now. And it's, it is, you know, a very intentional of the directions that they point. <laughs> Cynthia from the Red Rats. Oh, I know, right? That's going to be me when I'm older and like my hair starts to fall out. It'll be all like, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh my God. It's so punk to buy your own way into the scene, isn't it? Sir, ma'am, I don't know what gender you are. How did I buy my way into the scene? By hard work, by like interviewing bands with my DIY outlet that I edit the videos and film the videos and reach out to the interviews and you know secure them and slap all my shit to how did i buy my way into the scene by this shirt that i diy'd myself did that buy my way in because i have a band shirt from my friend's band that i support and then i diy'd it that's buying my way in please tell me how how did i buy my way into the punk scene hmm i would love to know that from one of my haters on here trolling me <laughs> So do not come for me. Do not come for me because I will read you. Do not fucking come for me. I have been through too much shit in my life that I don't got no time for the bullshit anymore. I just don't. I just don't. All right. These ones look good. These ones look good. This one, I have my mirrors here that help. This one's a little wonky on the ends if you can see. Um, <laughs> you go spiky girl. Thank you. Thank you for the support. You know what I've noticed? People on TikTok are a lot nicer uh, for the most part. I have a video currently that is like making its loop and people are really angry about it because I was wearing Dolls Kill and Amazon. Well, you know, like I used to be one of Dolls Kill's influencers. So I do have a lot of their wardrobe because it was gifted to me. And like Amazon, it's cheap and it's fast. Like who the fuck doesn't shop on Amazon? Like I DIY a lot of my clothes, but like, I'm sorry, I got my shorts on Amazon. Like, fuck, like, what do you do when it's like quick and you don't have like a ton of money to spend, you know? <laughs> so, mm -mm -mm. I would really love to know what kind of content you guys would like to see me create. One of the next videos I'm going to do is how I change my shirt because I see that comment. Hi, hi, Roger. I see that comment coming up a lot, but I would love to see what you guys would like for me to create. I don't know if you guys saw my new video I made today of how I walk through doorways because that was the thing that people were kind of asking, like, how do you walk through doorways? How long does it take to do your hair? How do you sleep? So I've made videos for all of those. Um, next will be, you know, how I change my clothes. But if you guys have, oh, thank you. Thank you, Sydney. That's so sweet. You think I should review gothic punk brands? I don't, I mean, I don't know. Like I've, I've worked with a lot of like those clothing companies. And if you pay attention to my pages, especially on Instagram, um, you know, I kind of just shout them out. Like, I wouldn't want to review somebody negatively, you know, like I, I just wouldn't want to spew negativity. Um, and usually like those reviews come from like when clothing companies like send me stuff, you know, um, how can you be punk, but love buying from bigger corporations? Darling, you are on TikTok right now on a smartphone and you're asking me about big corporations. Really? Hun, come on. Come on now, babe. <laughs> Do you see how ridiculous that is? You just make it like a fashion statement and not um, music movement. If you go subscribe to my YouTube channel, I have a show I've been doing for five years called Last Rockers TV, where I travel the world interviewing punk rock bands and film their live sets. And it's just me that does it. It used to be me and my ex-husband. Now it is just me. It's a completely DIY outlet. Um, where I spend money out of pocket to support these bands and interview them and spread music 
that you guys can get turned on to new music. So um, I'm not a very political person, but I'm very into music and the scene. Um, so please go over to my YouTube channel and subscribe, Aaron Micklow on YouTube. And um, you can watch over 400 punk rock videos of my years and years and years of going to shows and festivals and talking to these bands to bring awareness and turn new people onto them. So please, let me just correct you. <laughs> I get this a lot. People just think, oh, she's just like dressing up. I'm like, no, hun. Like I've been a professional model for 15 years. And so, yes, I do dress up and I do photo shoots and I express myself. But this is my personal style that I have cultivated. So please do not get it twisted. I'm not saying you don't listen to the music. Just saying you make it seem like a fashion statement. Well, it is a fashion statement. Hun, hello, it started with the Sex Pistols and Vivian Westwood. It was a fucking fashion statement. If you look at the Ramones, how they all wore their jeans with their t-shirts and their fucking leather jackets, it was a fashion statement. It is a fashion statement. You go to a punk festival and it is a fashion statement. People spend a lot of money to color their hair, um, DIY their clothes, make their battle vests. It is a fashion statement, darling. <laughs> okay. Do a video. I do have a video of how I get into um, my car and how I drive. I have two. When I'm being driven, I have to recline the seat. If you go to my main page and the playlist, How I Do Life with Liberty Spikes, there's um, those videos on there and you can watch them. Um, it's all about self expression and wearing your heart on your sleeve. Totally. You, I mean, you know, you guys, if you go to punk rock shows, you know, you we'll see a lot of people that do not dress the aesthetic. And then you'll see people that look like me that very much do dress the aesthetic. It doesn't make one person less punk than the other. We're both there to see those bands and support the music. Like it's just our, ex how we express ourselves physically. You know what I mean? Like some people are more into the fashion of punk rock, you know, with all of these chains and jewelry and some people are just you know put on a band tee and that's everyone's prerogative everyone should do what they want to do but please do not come for me for expressing myself as a female like I get my nails done you know I get facials I'm a very feminine female but you know like in the punk rock culture I started spiking my hair because I wanted cool punk hair like why does anybody have a mohawk or anything because they're like I want cool punk hair that was how it started for me I was looking at a poster of the distillers in my ex-husband's room. We were in Germany and I saw Brody doll in her hair. And I was like, I was like, I want to have cool punk hair, but I don't really want to commit to a mohawk. Like what hairstyle can I do? And I had asked my ex-husband, I was like, will you spike my hair for me? And he did. And he taught me how to do my hair. And that's how it started. <laughs> You're more than a model. Thank you. Yes, I am more than a model. Thank you for acknowledging and recognizing that. Um, Will we see you at the Johnny? I hope so. Oh my God, it hasn't happened in two years. But um, if you haven't already, please go to my YouTube channel and watch my interview with Linda Ramone. She gave a tour on camera inside her and Johnny Ramone's house. And it is just, I was, I mean, that was an interview I was so, so nervous to do. I was like, really like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm a huge Ramones fan. I'm in Johnny Ramone's house. I'm fucking with Linda Ramone right now and we're talking. And I've also interviewed, um, Ed Stasium, who produced most of the Ramones albums. Um, that was a wonderful interview. I, I did it at his house down in the San Diego area. Ed and I are still friends to this day. Um, I do have on my YouTube channel as well, um, two recap videos from the Johnny Ramone tribute before the pandemic. Um, it's a really, really fun event. I hope it's happening this year. Obviously with COVID, it didn't happen the last couple years. Um, but yeah, it's, it's always been a great event. You know, lots of really cool musicians show up um, and it's awesome. What's my favorite racist joke? None. No, no racist. Like, that's not funny. Racism's not funny. There's nothing to joke about about that. Oh my God. Um, you saw it. Oh, thank you for watching. You should put your hair in a mohawk. I mean, when I start spiking it, it starts as a mohawk because I start with the middle. But, you know, I just didn't want to commit to that that hairstyle, to the haircut. You know, I am also a working model and actress, so that influences some of it too, you know. And, and for me, you know, I don't want to be one-dimensional. You know, as you guys see from my page, like, I have many different styles, and they're all me still. They're all me. It's just how do I feel like expressing myself? Obviously, this is the style that I am most known for, but... 
they're all me. Like, you know, it's just, sometimes you want to be girly and put on a little party dress. And then sometimes you want to be a little bit more like angry. I'm punk. <laughs> um, then said it doesn't matter. You're just here to argue death posture. Like, oh my God. Like, you, it's this, like this is your entertainment. I don't argue with people. It's too exhausting. <laughs> Stop. Did you go to the, I, so I was outside of the Howie Pyro benefit um, and it was sold out. I couldn't get tickets at the door, unfortunately. And I, I was dumb and didn't buy them in advance, but I really loved seeing that um, because obviously Howie was very sick and it's amazing that that benefit raised a lot of money for him. Um, I met him before at, um, I went to the, the Grammy Museum opening of the Ramones exhibit there a few years ago. And that was how I met um, Ed Stasium. It was actually um, Joey Ramones brother, Mickey, that had invited me as his plus one because I had met him at a show here in Los Angeles. And um, he invited me and I, I went and then I met Ed Stasium. And it was so nice. It was actually that night Ed was like, he was in town because he lives in the San Diego area. And he was in town and um, he gave me a ride home. And then probably like, a bit later, maybe like six months, a few months later, I had started my channel and I had reached out to him. I was like, Ed, like, can I, can I interview you? You know, I'm a huge Ramones fan and he had great stories to tell. So it's a two part interview because it was very long um, and it's on my YouTube channel. So if you just search Aaron Micklow, Ed Stasium on YouTube, you can hear all the stories because he produced, you know, some of the most iconic Ramones albums. And it's just, you know, it was just amazing to get to hear his stories and yeah. Are you in a band? No, I am not in a band. I am not musical at all. Um, I need God. No, no. I, I grew up religious and not religious anymore, but no, I'm not in a band. Um, <laughs> when I was in high school, I took guitar lessons and um, I thought I wanted to be a musician and in a band, but um, I, I realized it wasn't for me because I didn't love practicing, you know, like, so I feel like if, if it was meant to be, I would have practiced a lot because I would have loved it. And um, it just wasn't for me. Um, I've taken singing lessons. I'm a terrible singer. Somebody else wants to go live with me, but because the last one was so weird, I think I'm just going to ignore this one this time. <laughs> Um, but so it's really funny to me. There's another video on my YouTube channel that people take very seriously. I did punk rock karaoke and it was an absolute shit show. And, um, it was just a train wreck and people thought I was trying to be serious. It's like, guys, I'm not a musician. This was, it was meant to be like karaoke. Like it was meant to be funny. And like one of them, I fell off the stage by accident. And then the other one, um, you know, at the time, a friend of mine, Nathan from Flogging Molly, he came up and he kind of bogarted my song because we had been hanging out and we were all drinking and he bogarts my song. So I hop on stage for the Circle Jerks one and I still get shit for this to this day of like I hop on stage and like he was already started and like my monitor was not on so I couldn't hear anything and you see me in the video I go like that and then it's just such a train wreck that at one point I take I unzip my skirt and just take my skirt off and I was like I am an entertainer at the end of the day I am an entertainer I've been a model and an actress professionally for 15 years now and I, you know, I'm there to entertain. I am not a musician. I am not musical. People are like, you didn't know the words to the song. And I'm like, my monitor wasn't on. I, it was, you know, the end of a very long weekend of drinking in Vegas at a punk festival. I was not sober. And, um, you know, I was just having fun. And I was like, it was karaoke. Like, I'm not a musician. It's not like people paid a ticket to come see Aaron Miklo do a full set. <laughs> like, oh my God. Do I know Marky Ramon personally? No, I've, I've never, um, I've never met him. Um, what is this person? Death, po death posture. I don't even want to answer you anymore. Do, do like your, your questions are so loaded death posture. You're not asking a question to ask a question. You're asking loaded questions, trying to get a reaction out of me. And darling, you're just not going to get it. I'm sorry. Move on, babe. Oh my God. Um, punk rock bowling. No, I do not attend that festival anymore. There's a video on my YouTube channel talking about why I will not go to punk rock bowling anymore. It was a big thing a few years ago. It hurt a lot at the time. I'm now moved past it. Had a lot of great years at that festival. 
really sad the way that it ended up with us. Um, but I dated, I dated one of the festival owners when I was very young and, um, he had a vendetta out for me cause he never liked me after that. And it was like, bro, chill out. I'm here promoting your festival. Like get off your high horse. We dated for like a freaking month and you're the one that like kind of ended it. So it was weird. You know, there's a lot of drama in the punk community, which is why now I find myself, um, you know, withdrawing from the punk community because I just don't want to deal with it. Like I don't need the negativity. I have, you know, friends in the community that I absolutely love. I was hanging with some of my friends last night, um, you know, that tour manage. Um, and then like, it was just really nice. Like I just, now I'm just choosing to be around nice people. There was a time when I felt like, oh, you know, I have to be here. I have to be at every punk show because people are like expecting me to be there. And sometimes that meant like being around people that like weren't the nicest people. And now I just, I don't care. Like I'll go if I like a band and there's nice people, but if they aren't, like I just don't want to be around that negativity. Did you get to the Queens Museum for the Ramones? No, I did not. I did not. Am I single? Yes, I am single. <laughs> yes, I am single. Yes, I was single. I went through a divorce um, two and a half years ago and it was it was really hard. I was married for a long time. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know, I was I was married to the, the punk rock guy. We were that punk rock couple and, um, you know, we shared a long life together and it didn't work out. And, you know, now I'm a single girl living on my own and I'm I'm happy now. I can honestly say that. So your parents are divorced. I'm so sorry. It's hard. It's hard. Hi from Russia, destroying Ukraine, Ukraine now defending Russia. Oh my God. I know it's, it's terrible what's going on over there. I mean, I, I don't watch a lot of news, but you know, obviously I have seen a bit of what's going on and I'm not very political, but it's just, it's sad. It's, it's really depressing. Um, how long does it take to do my hair? Two hours. Um, I have videos on my page that you can check out um, of how I do my hair, how I sleep with it, how I fix it. This live was to be fixing my hair, but I'm gabbing away with you guys. Hold on, let me let me get back to <laughs> fixing it. This is how I woke up with it today because I went out last night. Um, I still have to make a TikTok for that, but if you check out my Instagram stories, um, I was at a really cool art show last night with a bunch of alternative people and it's just inspiring to be around so many creative people. Ow. So sometimes if you hold a blow dryer, it like legitimately burns your head. It's it's unpleasant. So that's why it's important to keep moving it. Uh, little baby hairs. What's going on with these hairs? I got my little baby. I've always had baby hairs. <laughs> so I kind of like smush them down a little bit. How do I get into a car? Um, if you look at uh, the playlist on my page, how I, how I do life with my Liberty Spikes, I have videos about how I drive with my hair and um, how, I, how I am the passenger in a vehicle with my hair. Why am I doing this? Um, cause I've been spiking my hair for 10 years and it kind of became, you know, what I was known for. I initially, what I was saying earlier in my live, I initially started cause I was into punk rock and just one day I was literally like, I want to have a cool punk rock hairstyle, but I don't want to commit to a haircut because I am a professional model and an actress and that would limit the jobs that I would be able to do. And so that was how I decided on Liberty Spikes because I can have my hair down and look normal and you know a lot of people don't like that well I what I always like to say is like do you go to work all pumped out I'm sure you have a very regular job where you cannot go to work like that they expect you to look like business professional whatever your job is you can't go to work like that so it's the same for me <laughs> if I was a rack of spare ribs would you eat yourself I know I, wait what is that from what is that from? That is so fun. That was from like a movie, right? What movie? Please tell me what movie that was from because it was really funny. Oh my God. <laughs> and it was like, and he's all, 
If you were a rack of spare ribs, would you eat yourself? I know I would. <laughs> so ridiculous. What movie was that? What movie was that? Oh my God, please tell me. Oh my God. Well, yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> I'm gonna have to YouTube that when we get off. Um, that was so funny. Oh my <laughs> Oh, it was when he was um the space guy. The the that was like if you were a rack of spare ribs, would you eat yourself? I know I would. <laughs> appreciate that <laughs> this is um this is my favorite eyeshadow palette for the ladies watching um it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette five um and that's the eyeshadow I'm wearing now really like it so <laughs> is it damaging to my hair yes um so what kind of saves my hair is I've, I've never dyed my hair so not color treating it makes it that I can you know, heat style it like this. And like, you know, the hairspray has a lot of alcohol in it, which is very drying. So what I do is I try to give my hair um, breaks, first of all, which is why you'll see, like I don't have my hair spiked 24 um, seven. And then these are some of the products that I like to use. I do them daily. So this is the Hask um, keratin spray. And then this one I just got on Amazon. It's a hair growth oil. Um, and I just, you know, because the, the main thing is like when my, when I undo my spikes, my hair is just usually very dry um, because there's a lot of alcohol and it's got to be hairspray and um, it's just very drying and then, you know, heat styling it with the blow dryer. Um, so that's really important. And then, you know, I'm vegan. So diet, diet is important too. I, th I feel like that portrays to my hair health. What's my pronouns? She, her, what's yours? <laughs> um... Choco Chippy Cookie. Oh, that's a cute name. What's your pronoun? Oh, no. Billy Mays here, back from the dead to tell you about the power of OxyClean. Whatever happened to that guy? What happened to him? Ooh, I have, like, hairspray residue on the back of my ears. Gross. <laughs> I slept with my hair for everyone, for everyone tuning in. Um, one of the... So, yeah, what... So, this live was supposed to be me fixing my hair, but let me get back to it. I'm fucking gabbing away over here. Ooh, we're not supposed to swear on TikTok, right? Oops. <laughs> Oops. Lisa Simpson, yes. I self-identify as a giraffe. Why? Why do you, like, what, what makes you have giraffe-like qualities? <laughs> tell you it's difficult to fix my hair and talk to you guys at the same time there's no way I've done a live once doing my hair fresh and I just can't like because it takes so much concentration to do my hair that I can't and even this trying to fix it and talk to you guys is difficult um perfect look for a heavy metal concert thank you I'm actually going to the Rainbow Bar and Grill tomorrow. They're having their 50th anniversary party. And for those of you that don't know, um, it's an iconic rock bar here in Los Angeles. It's where Lemmy from Motorhead used to hang out all the time. I've met him a couple of times there before he passed away. And he was always so nice.
Lemmy is God. Yeah, so let me tell you a cool story about that. Before Lemmy passed, one of the last times I saw him at the Rainbow, um, he was sitting in his corner playing his poker game as he would, drinking his... He stopped at that point. He had stopped drinking Jack and Cokes um, because it, his diabetes and there's a lot of sugar. So he was drinking screwdrivers, vodka and orange juice because I think his doctor had told him it was better if he just wouldn't quit dr drinking, which he wouldn't. Um, and I gave I used to have these these pins. I still I have some in my merch store. If you guys go and visit um, Aaron Miklo That's where you can shop my merch. And um, I gave him one of my pins that had a, a picture. It was just like a promotional thing. It had my picture on it. And he immediately took it and put it on his vest. And one of the last photos before he died, um, he was wearing it still. So it was like, I was just, I freaked out. And I, I cried so much when Lemmy died. Obviously the rainbow had like a big memorial for him. And it was just crazy. If you are punk, you would be making your own clothing. Darling, don't come for me. I made this shirt I'm wearing. I make a lot of my own clothes. Do not come for me because I will fucking snap, snap that. Like, do not come for me. I made this shirt, okay? And I, if I take you all down to my office where all my jackets are, I make all of my studded jackets myself. I have made so much of my own wardrobe. I sew, so do not even come for me. <laughs> Island. Ever poke someone's eye out with your spikes? Yes, all the time. My mom gets so annoyed when we go out with my spikes. And she's like, I have to put sunglasses on because it's a thing. Like, I'll just turn to talk to somebody. And then that's usually when people get poked. My hair is cool. Thank you, Nail Boomer. Goofy ah haircut. Thanks. <laughs> What's your hair look like? Fun hair. I wasn't expecting that. Thank you. If you go to my page, I can... You'll see videos of how I do my hair. It's a punk rock hairstyle. How do I do that? Go to my page um, and there's videos of how I do it. I'm here trying to fix my hair for the night because I slept on it. It's like the spiky earrings. What does your hair look like without the spikes? Um, you can go to my page and see lots of other videos of me without the spiky hair. <laughs> what I look like. I can look real normal if need be. Um, because I'm a professional model and actress and have been for the last 15 years. I was modeling and acting before I got into punk rock. Um, you know, so it's, that's my job too. I'm trying not to offend, but how do you deal with people calling you a fashion punk? Um, I don't like it. I usually just correct them. Like I just did that person that is like, if you're a punk, why don't you make your own clothes? It's like, I do, darling. Um, and so, you know, and, and then I retort back with, oh, punk is a fashion statement. Like I was saying earlier in this live, um, if you're just joining in, it is a fashion statement. If you look at Sex Pistols and Vivian Westwood and she put their image together and then the Ramones, like they all had like their, their outfits. They wore the leather jackets. You know, if you look at Joan Jett, like it is a fashion statement. If you go to a punk rock show, not everybody has this aesthetic. You'll see people that just rock like a band tee and some pants and then you'll see people that kind of look like this with the hair and the jewelry and the chains and the battle vests it is a fashion statement <laughs> so yes of course stoned to the bone thank you for asking um do i like zombie punk i didn't know that was a genre i mean i i know like stylistically but is that a musical genre as well what have I acted in? Um, there's a movie, one of my favorite movies. Um, it was this movie called Circus Kane. Um, and you can watch it on YouTube or you can watch it on Amazon Prime. And um, that was a really fun one. I was the one that actually helped cast the opening band. It was a local punk band for everybody that is like, you don't support your local scene. This was an LA punk band and I got them the job for that movie. Um, and then they turned around and talked a bunch of trash about me, which was really lame. I was like, okay, well, <laughs> noted to not get y'all another job, if that's how you repay me. Um, and that sucked. Um, and then, yeah, I have, uh, there's a movie I just did called Jeruma. That one is not out yet. Um, I did a movie the summer before last called The Way that just came out where I played Lady Blue. I had spiky hair for that. 
um, way back when. I had a very small role in that movie, The Ugly Truth. Um, who remembers that one with Katherine Heigl and Gerard Butler? I was in a scene with them and briefly kind of got to meet them on set. Like I didn't want to be annoying. Um, so I was kind of just like, hi. Gerard was really nice. Very beautiful, hunky man. <laughs> so, um, 17 messages. How do I check messages on here? <laughs> this is my first time doing a TikTok live. Um, how do I check? It's, I'm like getting a notification that I have like 17 messages and I'm so sorry if you messaged. I don't know how to check them. <laughs> I need the name of this gel. I use Got To Be Glued hairspray and a blow dryer. Um, and if you go to my main, my page, um, there's videos of how I do my hair, what my hair looks like down, all of the stuff. This, everyone says Ken Pachi, that's like um, an anime thing, right? I'm not super into anime, um, so I'm, excuse me that I'm not so knowledgeable on that. What age did I start doing my hair like this? Um, 10 years ago, 10 years ago. I was like, I don't remember how old I was. What are you going to do if they discontinue that? Girl, it, they're not discontinuing this. Come on. It's everywhere. Um, but I guess if they did, I would find another one. But I, got, got to be is not going anywhere. Uh, you look like a landmine. So how is this? I'll tell you all a story. You know, when, when COVID popped off, the day it happened, it was like March 16th or 15th or whatever. And I was in LA and it was like the great freaking toilet paper rush of like, oh my God, I need toilet paper because I run an Airbnb and I had guests at the time. And I was like, oh my God, I need toilet paper for them. And I was at CVS getting like the last rolls and somebody paparazzi styled a photo of me paying at CVS. I was coming off set from a, a movie that I was doing that day. And so I was all punked out and um, they paparazzi did, and it went around on the internet, and they made it a meme, and they called me the coronavirus. And let me tell you, walking around Hollywood in the pandemic, when I would go out and walk my dog, I'd be, I would be self-shooting at home, and then I would, you know, take my dog for a walk, and people would be like, coronavirus, you look like the coronavirus. <laughs> um, I have a crush on you. I am Matthew. Oh, thank you, Matthew. That's sweet of you. Do you pronounce it data or data? I call it data. <laughs> Do I like Brazilian punk bands? I don't know if I know of any. Um, I'd like to go to Brazil though. I know I have a lot of followers there. Um, or the beautiful light fixture I saw in store I want in my house. Wait, what? Doing too much. Debbie Ryan vibes. The spike protein. <laughs> Um, you have a bigger crush on me. Oh my God, the comments are coming in really fast. Um, how long does it take to do my hair? Two hours. Um, do you go out in thunderstorms? Uh, I mean, when I, I'm originally born and raised in Florida, I've lived in LA for 15 years now, but like, yeah, you know, we go play in the rain. <laughs> um, what's my favorite cereal? I don't eat cereal. I'm vegan. I'm like a healthy vegan too. I don't eat cereal. <laughs> Hello from Trinidad and Tobago. Oh my God, I was there before. I was there in 2017. I really, really enjoyed Tobago. I'm not gonna lie, Trinidad was a bit scary. I don't know if it was like actually scary or if it's just my Airbnb host scared me and they wanted us to be really careful, but Trinidad was a bit scary. Um, Tobago was wonderful though. Vegan hair care products. Um, I really like Pacifica Beauty, they're great. How do you prevent poking people? When I go out, people kind of just part ways so that they, you know, don't get poked. <laughs> Messi or Ronaldo? I don't know what that refers to. I'm so sorry. What happened to my hair? What do you mean? <laughs> Island girl. <laughs> do you feel the same about me? I don't know you. Hello, what's my favorite color? Green. I really like like a mint green. You're cute, thank you. Oh my God, comments are coming. It looks ridiculous, thank you. It's like Benji Madden. <laughs> it's, it's, oh my God, oh my God. There's so many comments going in. Ah! <laughs> Do a 360, okay. So this is my slept on hair. Um, I was, I, this video was to be fixing it. 
Um, if you go to my page, I have like a TikTok I made. It's my most viewed TikTok. It has over 15 million views and it's how I fix my hair after sleeping on it. Um, I have videos of sleep, how I sleep with my hair. I have a video of how I do my hair fresh. Um, so they're all on my page. So uh, if you're not already, follow me. Uh, follow me on my other platforms. You can go and subscribe to my YouTube channel where I have over 400 punk rock videos. I do band interviews, live show footage, festival recaps. Um, so if you're into punk rock and the music scene of that subculture, um, then I think you would like my, my YouTube channel. And so you should go subscribe. <laughs> Um, how do I shower? So, um, I have a tub behind me and there's a video on my page of that too. If you go to the playlist on my page, um, how I do life with my spiky hair, a lot of these questions are answered. Um, the next video that I need to make that I get asked a lot is, um, how do I, um, how, how do I put my clothes on and off? <laughs> so I'll make a video of that. Do you ever wear my hair differently? Yes, and I get a lot of crap for it. People are like really angered that I don't look like this 100% of the time. Um, you know, sometimes I just wanna be ultra super girly and not have my hair up because it's also like really annoying sometimes and it's itchy and <laughs> so. Are you a rock star? I, I don't know, I like to, I like to think I am. <laughs> How do I sleep? There's a video on my page. It's um, pinned on my profile of how I sleep. Uh, so a satellite? Yeah, I'm a satellite. A satellite love. <laughs> Can you touch your hair? Yeah. You wanna see? Oh, so that one's a little too hard to do it because I just redid it, but so is that one. This is two days worth of hairspray. So I did my hair fresh last night and um, I went out to an art show and then I, I slept with it and then Tonight, uh, I'll sleep with it again because I'm going to um, a party more. Yes, crunchy. It is very crunchy. Why is your hair like that? You're wearing a wig. No, I'm not wearing a wig. This is my hair. At what age? So 10 years ago, I started doing my hair. Will you ever make a video with your hair down? Yeah, I have lots of videos with my hair down. Check out my page. Um, you must catch a lot of fish when you swim. Oh my God, guys. Wow, there are a lot of people in here watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking my crazy spiky hair. <laughs> do you cut it? Um, so I usually trim my hair myself. How do I sleep? There's a video on my page um, of how I sleep. Uh, bro got zapped. Why do, you, why do I like my hair like this? I mean, like how do I answer that? Like it's, it's you know, if you're into the punk rock, community that it's you know it's kind of just like a thing it's like you go to a punk show and everyone's got their battle vests too it's just like a thing um thank you nobody ever how do you do that there's a video on my page 90s vibes because she can does it ever get itchy yes it does could you do an asmr video of what ASMR videos would be. You're watching the spiky girl. <laughs> would you ever try hanging things off your spikes? Yes, there's a video I made where I put a bunch of marshmallows on my spikes. Um, so you can go to the playlist on my page, How I Do Life with My Liberty Spikes. Does so much hairspray damage it? Yes, it's very drying, so I have products. And um, no, I've never dyed my hair. I feel like that helps a lot. Did you ever poke someone's eye out? Yes, I have. How do I sleep? There's a video on my page. What's your point? Oh my God, stop it with the pun. You saw me at a concert and I gave you some sunblock. Oh, yeah, girl. We don't need to get burnt. I think, I think, were you a girl? Yes, I think so. It's, it went away, it's so fast, it's so fast. Oh my God, on Christmas, you should decorate it with ornaments. I did a photo shoot like that. I did, I, I hung ornaments on all the spikes. Thank you for liking my eyeshadow. It's um, Norvina Cosmetics. They're vegan, cruelty-free. What eyeshadow palette did I use? Norvina. I really want to be one of their influencers. I've reached out a few times and they are just not having it. But Norvina, Anastasia, Beverly Hills. Let me be one of your influencers because I love your eyeshadows. See, this is this is like the palette I use the most. You can see the colors that I use the most. Um, if you're a lady, you know. Um, and you like makeup. I really like their palettes. They're beautiful. 
Have I ever done a mohawk? Do I like Vice Squad? I know them. I've interviewed Vice Squad. So if you go to Aaron, do you go to YouTube, search Aaron Miklo Vice Squad, and um, you can see my interview with Becky. She's a friend of mine. Um, really lovely person. Um, yeah, there's lots of other punk rock videos. I have a show on YouTube where I interview punk bands. Um, so you should check it out. Um, visit Aaron Miklo on YouTube and go subscribe and you can watch like 400 punk rock videos. I've been doing my show for five years now. Um, do I go out like this? Yes. Do I get 5G with that? No. <laughs> Why do I wear my hair like that? Um, cause it's a punk rock hairstyle. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. My bestie and I did our bang. Oh, so fast. What? Huh? How do I drive? There's a video on my page. She's not a poser. Respect, please. Thank you, Roger. Liberty's bikes. Um, thank you for liking my hair. Does it hurt? Sometimes it hurts. <laughs> What's my YouTube channel? Aaron Miklo on YouTube. Um, do, do, oh my God. What products do I use to keep my hair healthy? First of all, I don't dye my hair. That helps a lot. Um, I have this one that I got on Amazon. It's just a hair oil. Um, and then I like this Hask one, this spray, um, which is great. How do I sleep? There's a video on my page of how I sleep. Back view, please. Um, so they're, they're messed up right now because this is like them being slept on. And this video was to be fixing them for you guys. But um, <laughs> it's kind of, it's hard to like fix my hair and answer your guys' questions with how quickly they're coming in. Like, whoa. Can I stab someone? How often do you wash your hair? So when I have my spikes up, I'll usually leave them up for a few days. Like this weekend, I went to an art show last night. Tomorrow, I'm going to the big 50th anniversary celebration at the Rainbow Bar and Grill here in LA. So I'll have it up for that. No, I don't use beer, but I have heard people do that. Um, I use got to be glued and a blow dryer. How long does it take? It takes me um, two hours to do it fresh. Uh, uh, uh. How do I? Ooh, sorry, I'm looking at. <laughs> she started at 6 a.m. Oh my God. <laughs> um, hot heat, cold will not work. <laughs> cold will not work. You have to do the high hot heat on the blow dryer. What time is it here? It's 9 p.m. in Los Angeles. I'm staying in tonight to create content for you guys. So I really hope you'll watch it. Follow me and um, go watch my other videos, please. Try Gorilla Glue, oh my God, no. Um, yeah, there's lots of videos with my hair down on my page if you go check it out. Um, can you just wet it and blow dry it? Um, yeah, I mean, you probably could. That, it might mess your hair up. I mean, this is just the easier way to do it, to just add more product. I mean, it's a lot of product build up, but. Am I Italian? No, I'm Irish. Um, my family is Irish descent, I'm American. Tom girl, thank you for being a big fan. <laughs> it's Cynthia. How are you going to sleep? There's a video on my page of how I sleep. Is it hard to wash out? It's not hard. It's just like, you know, you gotta do a couple washes. I usually brush it out first because if I just stand there and get it wet, it literally feels like my hair is being pulled. Everyone is always like, just stand there and let it get wet. And I'm like, it hurts so bad. So I like to break them and brush them first. Um, and then, you know, do a couple of shampoo and conditioners. What does it look like down? Um, you can look, check out my page. I've got lots of other videos with my hair not spiked. Um, how often do I wear my hair like this? Depends what I have going on, you know? I mean, I, everyone go follow at Glamping Hollywood Hills. It's my new business I just launched. It's a glamping experience here in Hollywood. Um, so for the last month, I, you know, was focusing around the launch of that. So I didn't spike my hair for like a month. Um, a lot of my followers got really mad at me for that. They're like, yeah. so I lost a bunch of followers cause I didn't have my hair spiked and that was lame. Um, this is really hard to fix my hair and talk to you guys. Like, <laughs> 
next time I'll just have to do like a Q and A live because it's like I know I titled this like fixing my broken spikes, but it's it's really difficult. It's really difficult to fix my hair and talk to you. It's 12 where you are. How long does it take to wash your hair fully? Not that long. Um, all right. I think I might be leaving soon, guys. <laughs> if you have any more questions that I maybe haven't answered, um, you should go follow me on YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Erin Micklow. There are lots of punk rock videos there, about 400 um, band interviews. I interview bands, if you didn't know that about me. Um, to further support the punk rock community for everyone that likes to come for me and say that I don't. Um, I film their live sets. I do festival recaps. Um, so if you're into punk rock music, I think that you would really like my YouTube channel. So you should go subscribe to Aaron Micklo on YouTube. I've interviewed so many punk rock artists. It's not even funny. Um, so uh, your nickname for me is Spike. <laughs> A lot of people call me Spiky Girl. They're like, hey, Spiky. <laughs> Your real name is Skyla. Hi, Skyla. How long does it take to put up? Two hours. How long is your hair down? It's about this this long. Um, obviously, if, if you follow me and you see my videos, I have hair extensions and things that I like to pop in and out. I like to do many different looks and express myself. You don't like my hair. That's okay. You don't have to like it. You don't have to like it. That's fine. Um, thank you for loving my hair. What made you want to do your hair like that? Um, I wanted a cool punk rock hairstyle because I've always been into punk music. And just one day I was like, I want to have punk hair. What can I do? <laughs> so here we are. You should get your nose pierced. No, I don't want to do that. Like, you know, I, I, I like my aesthetic. Like, obviously, I, I have five tattoos, but, you know, I'm not a, a real tattooed person. The only piercings I have is my two ear holes. And I will say, like, I don't, my body doesn't respond well to piercings either. Like, I got my second hole pierced in, in Mexico last, last summer. And instead of taking like six weeks to heal, it literally took like six months before I could change the earrings. I just don't respond. And like, and for anybody trying to say, well, it was Mexico. No, it was Mexico City. And it was a shop that was very, very professional, very clean, had very good reviews. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, nice hair. Why was this on my For You page? <laughs> You love my makeup. Thank you. I keep getting people that say, why do I do my hair like this? <laughs> How do I answer that? I mean, I, I know the answer. I just like, I'm tired of answering it. It's been asked a lot. <laughs> was I born in 1989? No, I was not. Are you emo? No, I am not emo. <laughs> Uh, I'm emo if it gets, if it gets me a boyfriend like Machine Gun Kelly, <laughs> then I'm emo. <laughs> where's my, where's my Machine Gun Kelly that is not taken by Megan Fox? Where, where is he? I'll be an emo girl. <laughs> how do I sleep? There's a video on my page of how I sleep. Um, what products do I use? I use Got To Be Glued, hairspray, um, do you like the casualties? I know the casualties. I've interviewed um, the new singer, Dave, from the casualties. Uh, if you search um, Aaron Micklow casualties on YouTube, you'll see that interview. It was, it was a live stream interview that I did in the pandemic because I had started a series called 20 Questions With. Um, and so, yeah. How do I sleep? Um, love, Lovely lover. Hello. I remember my brother doing this. That's cool. You're an island boy. <laughs> you saw a video a while back and it, you, it might damage your hair. It probably will, to be honest. If I'm just being honest with you, it probably will. Um, you're the girl of my dreams. Thank you, Roger. <laughs> Thank you, Roger. You know, you can shop my Amazon wish list anytime, darling. I love to receive prezzies. <laughs> I am single and I would not turn down prezzies. Uh, so the link to my Amazon wish list is um, on my Instagram bio. <laughs> 
I do like prezzies and new things to shoot. Do you advertise a boyfriend? No, I don't have a boyfriend. I'm single. I am single. Um, what was the first time I tried this hairstyle 10 years ago? Decline. I don't want to accept any more lives from people. Is that a wig? No, it's not. Hi, Cynthia. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm looking at your other posts and you don't look the same. I know, right? I, I express myself very differently. I'm so pretty. Thank you. How do I sleep? There's a video on my page. Uh, my hair is kind of straight. It's like a little bit wavy. Um, <laughs> how did it break? You need a friend like me, baby. I ain't your baby. I ain't your baby. <laughs> how do you? Okay. Uh, oh my God. This, this is my first live. I am like, thank you so much to everyone that has tuned in and watched this. There are 2000 people here right now. That is crazy. I was watching videos on YouTube about going live on TikTok for the first time. And they're all, don't be discouraged if you only have like 15 people in there. And I was like bracing myself for that. And there's 2200 people here right now. This is insane. Like, thank you so much, everyone. Now there's 2400. This is like so crazy. Like, whoa, thank you everyone for being here. Like literally the YouTube video goes, for your first live, don't be discouraged if only like 15 people show up. You know, do it more often and then it'll be like a hundred and then you'll get to the thousands. <laughs> oh my God, thank you everyone. Um, if you're not already, follow me on all of my other platforms, Instagram. Instagram hates me. That used to be my leading one and I'm kind of new to TikTok and TikTok has been really, really good to me. Um, and I've, I've never had this kind of engagement on any of my other platforms. Um, but please go follow me on Instagram, um, at Aaron underscore Miklo, same username, subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, where I interview punk rock bands and film their live sets. Oh my God. What is this? Somebody sent me sunglasses. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm new to TikTok live. What, that was so weird. What does that mean when somebody sends you sunglasses? What does that mean? I'm, has anyone ever ended up in the hospital because of my spikes? No, <laughs> no. Um, what's my name? My name's Erin. Oh my God, sorry. There's, you just wonder why you did my hair like that. Honestly, just curious. Cause it's a punk rock hairstyle. Oh, sunglasses are a gift. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. Thank you so much. I my again, my first TikTok live, so I I'm still going to I'm probably going to have to like Google what these things <laughs> mean after this. Oh my god. Oh man. How long does it take to wash out? Is it hard to get in a car? Um yes, it's difficult to drive in a car. I have videos on my page. Um if you go to the playlist, how I do life with my spiky hair. Um, you love my eye color. Thank you. I get money. I, I, you know what? It's nice to be paid as a content creator. Cause I will say I've been a content creator for probably about a decade now. And, um, <laughs> I guess that's my bad for not learning how to monetize my platforms better. <laughs> You're screenshotting this. Okay. Go for it. Do you want me to pose? Do I look cute? <laughs> Thank you for liking my hair, Corona. Yeah, I know. I get money from live. That's awesome. I love that. Yes, pay me to spend time with you guys. You know what? It is a lot of talking. I've been on a live now for over an hour. I'm going to have to end this soon because I'm getting tired. Like, I'm like, I need to sit. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Some of my favorite punk bands, The Exploited, Ramones, Rancid, Pose, you're taking a screenshot. Okay, hold on. You get a cute one? <laughs> oh my God. How do I sleep with that? Um, there's a, a viral video on my page. It's pinned. You can go watch that one. Um, dun, dun, dun. We have the same name. That's cool. Island Girl. That Island Girl song is going to be stuck in my head now. Like, I've gotten that before. <laughs> uh, 
go home, fix your hair. I've got to see you take this out, please. Oh my God. There's a video on my page of me un undoing my hair. Go to my playlist, how I do life with my spiky hair. What product do I use? Ooh, I am getting tired. I've been on here for an hour and 15 minutes. I'm getting tired. <laughs> I'm getting tired, guys. Um, you're fun. Thank you. Thank you very much. I like to have fun. I'm pretty. Thank you. Girl, you do you do you do your hairstyle? Not every day. Um, the gift you got is money. Oh, cool. Thank you. Fingers on screen. Fake punk. Oh my god, stop it. Uh, that's how I feel about your fake punk. Not funny. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> I thought it was funny. What's your day job? Um, I'm an Airbnb host. Um, I have two Airbnbs. You can go follow my second one that I just launched at Glamping Hollywood Hills, Hollywood Hills here on um, TikTok and on Instagram. And um, since the TikTok is new, I couldn't put a link yet. Um, but on Instagram, there's the link of where you can book your stay. Um, so I did have guests check in tonight and I, I helped the girls with their luggage up the stairs. <laughs> um, and, you know, I was dressed like this because I was about to go live for you guys. And they were like, are you going somewhere? <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna go live on TikTok. <laughs> um, thank you for liking my personality. Have I poked somebody? Yes, I have. Yes, I have poked lots of people in the eye with my hair. I look like a rock star, thank you. How often do you go to Mexico? I love Mexico. I was actually just in Tulum. Um, last summer, I spent five weeks backpacking around Mexico. Where did I buy my lipstick? This is uh, Kat Von D. One second. This is Kat Von D, the liquid to matte longwear. This is the shade Santa Sangre. Um, really love this one. Dolls Kill and Amazon Isn't Punk. Thanks. I have not heard that before. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Thank you. Aren't you the authority on what is punk rock and what is not? Okay, punk police. I've got a shirt for you in my merch store. It says punk police fuck off. Um, so everyone go shop my merch. I'm just going to do a shameless plug for my merch here or there. Um, AaronMicklow.BigCartel.com to shop my merch. And you can snag that t-shirt, punk police fuck off. <laughs> you want to be me. That's so sweet of you. Um, do I like my hairstyle? Yeah, I wouldn't do it like this if I didn't. Um, a real punk wouldn't support Dolls Kill. I was one of their influencers for a while. They would send me a lot of free clothes. And I'm sure that um, if you were in those shoes, I liked their clothes. I thought they were cute. I'm sure if, they were, if you were in those shoes, you probably would have done it. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. Uh, my name is Cozy, 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 is that how you say it? Cozy, hi. A real punk wouldn't buy from Dolls Kill. Are we really doing this, really? Do I have tattoos? Yes, I have five. I've got one here, one here for these people coming for me on this live. <laughs> um, I've, got, I've got some here, one on my rib cage, and then I, I have a hidden one that's you guys are not going to see. <laughs> um, so yeah, I love Dolls Kills clothes. Thank you. I, you know what? I like their clothes too. And I've met the owner, Shoddy, and she's a nice person, okay? The fashion industry steals from everybody. They steal from everybody. And I'm not saying that it's right, of like that they've taken designs from, you know, independent artists, but like, you know, the fashion industry does steal from everybody. If you look at fashion historically, you'll see how trends come and go. Like they get recycled. Like it's the fashion industry. Like y'all get with it. Educate yourselves, please. Um, your fashion is awesome and your personality is wholesome. Oh, thank you. Can I be your mod? What is that? A moderator. 
I don't like this is my first time going live so please excuse me that I'm a bit novice on it I saw that that was like an option and it said like moderators I don't even really know what that means I'm gonna have to educate myself better so please excuse me this is my very first TikTok live where do I why are you live no offense why am I live um because I've never gone live before and I wanted to connect with you you guys um the people that follow me i appreciate it if you're if you're new and you're just tuning into this because it was suggested to you check out my page and if you like my content give me a follow are you emo or girly girl i'm a girly girl for sure for sure i've never dyed my hair ever and i feel like that's also why i can do this hairstyle and all of my hair is not falling out of my head <laughs> because i do not dye my hair i think if i was dyeing my hair and doing this intense styling like i think i would have no hair <laughs> So, um, what did I use? I use got to be glued. You can, um, go to my page and check out my videos of how I do my spiky hair and all of it. Moderators regularly the chat answer questions when the host is busy or can't keep up with them. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, maybe next time. Why I keep seeing messages and I'm like, how do I see these messages? I'm very confused. Um, would you get more tattoos? You know, one I've been wanting to get, I, I, I like not really being a tattooed person. I like my skin. As you can see, I don't really have many and the ones I do have are all very small, but one I've been wanting to get is I want to get a little lightning bolt right here. Um, that last summer on my freedom trip post divorce that I gifted myself, I backpacked and solo traveled around Mexico. Um, and I kept, I kept saying it, I kept calling it my wild and free trip because it was my freedom, you know, from, from my divorce, leaving, you know, a marriage that was not healthy. We were together for a really long time and, um, it was a hard thing to recover from. Um, so I want to get a little lightning bolt there that symbolizes that. Cause that's what I would always say. I say wild and free. And then I'd put the little lightning bolt emoji. So am I in a band? No, I'm not musical. I interview bands. Um, so if you're not already, you should subscribe to Aaron Miklo on YouTube, um, where you can find lots and lots of punk rock band interviews, live show footage, festival recaps. There's over 400 punk rock videos there. I've been doing my show for five years now. Um, oh, thank you. This is an independent designer for everyone coming for me for shopping on Amazon. This is an independent designer named, uh, Metalisa. Um, she's wonderful. She hand makes all her stuff. You like my hair and makeup? Thank you. Do I like Depeche Mode? They're okay. You know, I don't want to yuck somebody else's yum, but they're not, like, I'm not super into them. Do I want a face tattoo? No. No, I do not want a face tattoo. Um, when do I put my hair down? When I feel like it. Was my hair pointy? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, well, it looks like the live is dying down, guys. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to say good night. Um, please go follow me on all my platforms. Follow me here if you're not already. Follow my glamping accommodation at Glamping Hollywood Hills. And um, thank you so much, everybody, for being here. I appreciate you so much. Okay, have a good night. Is that how I end it? End.